Hello, my name is Gareth Pritchard and welcome to this quick video where I'm going to explain the basic fundamentals of light and how light works when trying to do drawings and how those that light creates shadows in those drawings. As you can see there's a picture on the screen and this picture is a basic representation of the land which is this area here, green grass, a tree which is this part here and the sky. This line across here is what is always called the horizon line. This is where the land meets the sky. When you look across the landscape you will always see an, an horizon line where the land meets the sky. If you're looking across the sea you would see the same thing where the land where the sea meets the sky or the sky meets the sea. The next image has got a sun in the corner. In this left hand corner here I've created a representation of the sun. This is going to be our light source. This is where the light is coming from. And all light, I am led to believe by the scientists, and I've got no reason to disbelieve them, travels in straight lines like this. So all light travels in straight lines. So there'll be thousands, millions, billions of straight lines coming from that sun and hitting the objects in front of them, like this. So these lines here represent the light coming from the sun and hitting the tree. Now notice that the, the, the part facing the light, or facing the sun here, is lighter, and the part at the back is darker. That's because the light does not pass through the tree. It hits the tree, and it reflects off somewhere else. So the back of the tree, because of this, is darker than the front of the tree. And it creates shadows. You've seen shadows when you've been walking outside in the sunlight. What is happening is that the light is not passing through your body and it's creating a shadow where there is no sunlight. In the next image, I'm showing how light reflects. So the light comes in straight lines, it hits the tree, and then it reflects off in a straight line. It hits the earth, and then it reflects off again. And if there's something else it to hit, it'll hit that and reflect off that. And that is how light works. And basically, the whole of our world is light shining in from every direction all over the place because the light is coming down from the sun like this, but then it's reflecting off all the objects, so it would be like this, so the, the light would be reflecting off the earth as well as the objects, and so the whole of our environment, our world that we live in, is saturated with light coming in all different directions from reflections and so the sources themselves, and that is how light is created. When you are drawing something, you draw the part that is opposite to the light, the part that is not facing the light in shadow, and you draw the part that is facing the light lighter to represent the difference between light and shadow. In this next image, I will try to explain it in a different way. Here's the sun, and here's the sky, and here is a representation of a head. There's the ridge over the eye, there's the nose, top lip, the bottom lip, the underneath the lip, the chin, the neck, the, the chest, shoulders, back, neck, head. You know, you can you can see that that's supposed to be a representation of a head. Now the light comes along and it hits this and reflects off, and it lights up this area of the face all the way along. But notice. Because the light doesn't pass through things, like in the tree, this area, there is no light. This area here, there is no light. Although there is light in this area, it's not as well lit as that area would be because the light is shining directly on it, whereas this, it's at an angle to the light, so the light wouldn't be shining directly onto it. So that would be slightly darker as well, is an example where I've darkened the areas to show the areas where the light wouldn't be getting. If you was doing a drawing, you would darken these areas, and they would help you to explain and define the object that you were drawing. If it was a face like this side on, then it would 
suggest to you that that is in darkness. It would suggest to you that underneath the nose is in darkness and underneath the chin is in darkness. Here's another example. Imagine the light coming down from the top like it does in the sky normally, the sun above our heads shining down, or even in, when we're into side buildings, the lights are usually above our heads, so most of what we see is lit from above, from the top. So the light comes down, it hits the head, and it doesn't pass through the head, it hits the, the forehead of the person, but it doesn't hit underneath the hair there, so it would be darker. It doesn't hit underneath the eye there, so it would be darker. It doesn't hit underneath the nose, so that would be darker. It would be darker under the lips. It would be darker under the bottom lip. It would be darker under the chin and under the back of the head because that uh, those areas would not be lit by the light because the light does not pass through objects unless it was reflected light, which would not be as strong because some of that light would be lost and soaked up by the object it was reflecting off, so it would still be darker if it was reflecting back up, or slightly darker. Let me explain it this way as well. If the light was shining up from underneath, then it would be the opposite. The top of the chin would be in darkness. The underneath of the chin would be lit, because the light would be shining onto it and reflecting off it. The top of the bottom lip would be in darkness. The top of the top lip would be in darkness. Underneath the nose would be lit up because the light would be shining onto it and reflecting off it. The front or the, the side, the top, the top side of the nose would be in darkness or it would be in shadow. Underneath the eye, the ridge above the eye would be lit up because the light would be shining up from it, up through it. Although you can't see it in this picture because you've got to imagine that this is just you've got to remember that this is just a flat image in the three-dimensional world that nose would not be there so the light would be hitting the underneath of the eye to some extent but also it would be stopped by the cheek so the eye would still be dark underneath and the forehead would be dark and so would the top of the head and that's how light work works light travels in straight lines where it hits it makes light where it doesn't hit, it is slightly darker than shadow. So when you're drawing a picture, think of the direction of the light and think where the light would be hitting the subject that you're drawing and where it wouldn't be hitting, then you would shade those areas. I hope this has explained something about light and how it works. I hope this will help you understand a little bit more about doing drawings and where to put your shading. And thank you for watching it. Goodbye.